Devin Skillian in for Karen Drew. We are learning more about the circumstances surrounding 13-year-old Naziah Harris's death. The accused in that death in court today facing murder charges. Let's get to Sean Lay live from 36th District Court with more. Sean. Devin, right here talking to family members of Naziah Harris. They tell me exactly what everyone's thinking. This just keeps getting worse. Before we get to the video here, real quick, he was charged, Butts, today with three different charges against three different victims. One, a girl under the age of 13 that he was allegedly sexually assaulting. Another one, a four-year-old, apparently his own daughter, charged with that and giving her a sexually transmitted disease and then the disappearance, murder, and sexual assault of Naziah Harris. Let's take you right inside court. That's happening just moments ago inside 36th District Court in cuffs in the mask, drink green jumpsuit. That's 41-year-old Jarvis Butts. Now, prosecutors laid out a new motive about why Naziah Harris went missing last January 9th. Butts was due to turn himself into prison January 9th on a gun charge. And prosecutors say the motive was he could not allow Naziah Harris to have his child. She was pregnant with his child. He apparently knew that. And so they called that Butts's Naziah Harris problem. Absolutely sickening. And he allegedly took care of that problem, although her body has never been found. Naziah's aunt, who we've never seen or spoke with before, she was here for all of it. Uh, and she's never uh, talked publicly before. I asked her exactly just a few minutes ago who was ultimately responsible for looking after this little girl in my personal opinion with no affiliation there are multiple parties involved as many have already stated um and i just have to hold on to hope that the entire truth will come to light this is the beginning of the truth and we're very grateful for this part but the entire story will come out back here live the same question we're asking right here where is this girl's body prosecutors say all the evidence points to her no longer being with us whatsoever harris himself in cuffs you saw there he's serving that time for the gun charge so he was remanded absolutely no bond for him until his next court date coming up with new information we'll break it all down again for you at five o'clock the story just keeps getting worse Devin. sure does all right sean some people are really fucking stupid also what's with the camera what are you talking about Right here. What on, man? Bro, Christ, please. Is that your part? No, 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 no. Go take please, a seat. Go please. take a seat. Go take a seat right, right now please. on the bed. Go take a seat on the bed. Go take a seat on the bed. Keep your hands out of your pocket. My hands are here. Okay, go take the bed. We're just gonna talk. I'm so sorry. We're just gonna talk. Just take a seat. Just take a seat, man. No, it, no, we're just gonna no, talk. I knew it was a trap. Where did she say she was 18? Calm down. We're just gonna have a conversation. This will be a picture, okay. right? Hey, listen. Look at me. Calm down, okay? Please. Are you guys gonna call the cops? If you came for intention of that, of whatever the case may be, right? No, honestly, I was scared shitless of it. So, sorry. It's alright. Right. Take your time. I know I should have. I know I should have. <laughs> you go, baby. Well, I listen, like, come f me with, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I got a studio. Okay, let me get another picture of you. I just had a picture. Okay, bro. let me get another one. Yeah, bro. It's supposed to be titties. Where the fucking titties and the bitches? Not a shit pissed me off. Like we got this dude over here, Detroit man, 41 years old, touching on little kids, you know. They say it's three victims. They said it was, you know, one of the his girlfriend's nieces. They say it's another uh, girl that was about 13, just missing. Then they say it's um, his own kid, you know, his own daughter. He had to make a victim of his uh, disgusting mind, you know. So he's running around here touching on kids and killing kids because he's getting these kids pregnant. Ugh.
spread an STD. This is the type of shit we try to warn women about. These predatory men out here, that's no good for nobody. That should be burning in hell. Might be even uh, uh, in a cell or, or the firing squad or something. Shoot this nigga to death. Whatever we got to do to get him out of the community from causing these viruses, no pun intended, you're actually a virus to the community, you know? But we try to warn women about these type of men and tell them that there are men like this out here. We understand that you're strong and independent and you can handle yourself and all that type of stuff. But when we got men out here that been manipulating women since they were kids and have been predators since they were kids, you know, no telling what he's done since he was a kid. But you meet him now at 40 years old, 39 years old, whatever the case might be. He convinces you to let him around this and let him around that and be around here and pick up the kids from school. And don't worry about this. Well, this is the shit that we warn you women about. This is not about trying to constantly pre uh, uh, control you. All right. This is not about constantly trying to be an overseer and making sure you're not making dumb decisions like this. I could have showed y'all so many videos of women that don't even know the dude. Give them uh, uh, the address, phone number, everything. Give her, give them all the access to this woman's life, and she has a daughter. You know, I could have easily went and found videos of single mothers giving out the number and giving out, oh yeah, when you gonna pick me up and addresses and stuff like that to dudes they don't even know. That's easy work. Who do you have to protect besides yourself? Think about that before you give it out your damn address and phone number and everything else to these niggas that you have no clue what kind of criminal record these niggas got. And you don't even have the time to look it up. You don't even you don't even want to look it up. It's crazy, man. I just tell y'all, just protect yourself from these predators out here. Just as much as men have to protect themselves from these predator women out here. Protect the kids. This is the most important thing that you have produced in this fucking world. And you're gonna let these crazy men or women around your kid. And cost them their whole life. It doesn't make any clear sense to me. That you can't just do a background check on a nigga that you're dealing with. Is he violent? Is he this? Is he that? The woman that you're dealing with. Is she violent? Is she sporadic? Does she have bipolar disorder? Any kind of disorders that might cause somebody to do some shit like this. This got to be a disorder. This got to be some kind of mentally... Disorder. Nobody thinks like this. See, the good people. I remember a quote. Somebody said, "You would You can't even imagine the evil. You can't imagine the evil that they think of. You can't imagine it. So just stay in your lane with your nice ass, and stay with nice people. Stop trying to be with these motherfuckers that." Or wolves in sheep's clothing. Stop trying to look for the wolf. And just deal with the sheep. Alright? Because when you're dealing with the wolf, the big bad wolf might do some shit that you don't agree with. And you can't take down the wolf. You already let him in your house. He's devouring all the kids. It is what it is, man. So I was accepting so we ain't having it. Like, comment, subscribe.